the program today we are going to conducting is a private public partnership where you can have a highest education qualification in sri lanka sri lanka foundation institute currently running under the mass media ministry of mass media uh, previously sri lanka foundation uh, run under the presidential secretariat however the most valuable adult education center in sri lanka uh, you will be able to reach your dream through the sri lanka foundation and lincoln university the detail of the program you will be delivered by the our country director so at the beginning i would say the sri lanka foundation institute always in behind you when you need so i congratulate the uh, the students those who are enrolling with us uh, and uh, those who trust sri lanka foundation and uh, lincoln university both uh, to go through your adult education so wish you all the best and success for your career endeavor thank you very much recording what are you dr vijay ratna for that introduction next we have mr roshan dilena who is the country director of lincoln university in malaysia to briefly guide you about our relationship with lincoln university so over to you dr uh, mr roshan thank you uh good morning to all my friends students colleagues uh well just to <clears throat> continue what dr vijayaratna or uh, i would like to say elaborate on what dr vijayaratna was talking before i <clears throat> uh talk i would like to introduce myself as well as the script writers i would say the script writers right so Dr. Vijay Ratna, the head of academics, uh, chairperson of Sri Lanka Foundation, also my dear, my colleagues at my office, local office in Sri Lanka, uh, namely Mr. Uday, Nishi, <coughs> Vinod. also not to mention uh last not the east the lady who was able to put things together dr tanusha <clears throat> perera i would like to warmly welcome dr tanusha to the setup uh doctor i can see you could you please acknowledge with i have pronounced your name properly or what sure 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 yes okay sure. yes i i think right uh so dr vijayaratna has acknowledged uh 
so we warmly welcome you to the family dr thanusha uh, has uh, experience handling undergraduate students in uh, life science area she is a product of university of peradeniya uh, with her doctoral degree research degrees all her research degrees are from uh, university of peradeniya and she has dealt with foreign uh, uh, foreign uh, curriculums she has been reviewing our curriculum and uh, updating country specific and she will be heading this uh, basically the life science area so i would like to warmly welcome her to the family as well as to the system and also introduce the students who had joined or embarked the journey today to uh, uh in fact a long journey uh, career wise uh, personal goals all these things put together so i would also not forget mituni and maduni i don't know i'm pronouncing their names properly or what uh, pardon me if i haven't pronounced it so all these people are script writers that's what i told they are not uh, basically they are, they are not the artist huh? they are not the people who you will see on the screen very often people who are behind the screen we usually tell them so i would like to thank all these people who are behind the screen and also would like to warmly welcome you to the program which is structured through north show campus north show campus is one of the state of the art built campus in sri lanka and it is also considered lincoln has only considered lincoln university has only considered north show branch campus as their branch campus in sri lanka we have 25 other partner institutions you can go and uh, do a google survey everywhere but you would only find north show campus is designated as branch campus running lincoln programs the reason is they are exclusively running our hnd programs in collaboration sri lanka foundation which is a public state owned institution and also their reputation for engineering and science prevails so i don't have to give you introduction because i know you all are it wizards uh, all this young generation it wizards they can always go and do a web survey and find out i'm sure that you would have done because you are registered now with not show you would have done your web survey and you would have come across the comments you would have come across who they are and what they have been doing so all these things that you might come across i am not here today to talk about these things to waste your time because today we are in a platform where else information can be enhanced from any device can be retrieved from any device so therefore what you have to remember my dear students i could call you my dear students because we are administration we are academics we are academics we are into administration we are here to help you we are here to guide you because we have understood we have seen the world through a different eyes different view 
we have seen the world from a different perspective. We have seen the changes. We have seen the patterns. So therefore, sometimes what you have seen, with all the respect for what you have seen, and we are here to just patch up the gaps, right? Which you might have a blind eye on. A 360 degree guidance under the program. Having been said all these things, having been introduced, okay, lastly myself, Roshan D. Lima, country director, Paul Lincoln University, Sri Lanka and Maldives. Having been said, that's all, myself will go and find out in Google or LinkedIn or wherever, right? Or Facebook or wherever. Um, uh, basically, I'm here not to talk about the technical norms. I'm here not to talk about your subject matters. I'm here to talk about the final destiny. The final destiny. Now, I would like, I would love to hear one or two students. Okay, I can see here about 30, 35 students are there who are joined. Rest assured that uh, sitting academic staff, right? I would like to pick one or two students to know the final destiny. This is a journey. I'm not worried about the journey. I'm not concerned. Journey is a journey. We have obstacles. We have difficulties. It has to be patient. Now, when we start a journey, if we are not patient, if we are not patient, you know what can happen. Imagine that you are driving and you don't have the patience. You want to go from Colombo to Gampaha. Kalambo to Gampaha, and you are not patient. Your final destiny is Gampaha, but you are not patient. You may or not may or may not be able to complete your journey just because you are rushing. Just because you are rushing. Now take for an example when you cook rice. You know all we all have seen how rice is being cooked. Nowadays, they use the equipment called rice cooker. So why not have some cooker which can boil the rice in one minute? Why half an hour? Why 15 minutes? Why 20 minutes? Why one minute? Why not one minute? Have you ever thought that? Have you ever thought one minute cooking rice? Have you ever seen the difference between cooking with the pressurized cookers and average cooking? The difference. Have you ever tasted the difference between uh, traditionally cooked food and electronic device cooked? food, which is really fast and convenient, but not tasty. The aroma is not there. Have you ever tried this out? Education is also like that. You may see hundreds and thousands of people Science graduates waiting to secure an employment. Employment. Perhaps, maybe, sometimes they are cooked some fast. Sometimes, sometimes they are cooked, but they haven't. They don't have the proper ingredients. Chili, 
uh, onions, uh, call sauce, pepper, spices missing. So the aroma is not there. The taste is not there. So when we cook food, the taste has to be there. For which learning is also like that. You can have similar qualification. All can prepare soup. You have a lot of restaurants. Why people are selective? Because they are boiled and cooked in a different way. So my dear friends, my dear students, what I'm telling here is we want you to make that difference. We want you to make that difference. We are, you are not just here to waste time or money. You are here with an important decision in your life. You are embarked in a career, life career, I would say. Where else your final destination is somewhere else. Oh my God, I forgot. I can see the big boss, Mr. Yoganathan is there. Good morning to you, Mr. Yoga. Good morning, Roshan. Yeah. Thank you for the introduction. I, I did not notice you. <laughs> no problem. I'm listening to you very carefully. Okay. No problem. Carry on. Okay, 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 okay. Thank, okay you. thank you. Just an okay. introduction to the big boss from, uh, uh, in fact, the key person, one of the key persons at uh, North Shore campus, Mr. Yoganathan. It's a fine gentleman, fine piece of gentleman. So uh, then uh, this journey, you can't rush as I told you. You know what happened when you rush? You know, I can speak Sinhalese because I'm going to ask questions in Sinhalese only because you'll be reluctant to sometimes talk in English because we want you to talk in English after first semester, not now. Not now. Don't bother. Don't worry. You learn in English. I'm sure Dr. Tanuja will guide. She has a lot of patience. She has worked with all these school leavers. So she will properly guide you. Right? So we don't expect you overnight to speak in English. You know, I was also like you some 25 years ago. Uh, I was also like you from 25 years ago. Uh, luckily, nobody spoke to us like this. Yeah. Uh, we were sitting in a lecture hall with 300 odd students, you know, in a huge lecture hall and nobody spoke to us. Nobody encouraged us, all discouraged. Here it's different. We are trying to encourage you. Don't rush. Don't rush. If you rush, as I took as an example, the rice cannot be boiled in one minute. Can, but it may not have. Or it may not be the expected rice. Mama make a single in Kenawa, because the Mama Hitanawa met an eighty per cent Lamai Okotom single appear in Lamai. Butter Vinadi and Tambo Hal Lekadala Hari Hamang Batatea Kambo either Ekahitala Ekatayana Kale Yano Villa Vapidin Kalabalate Karanda. Especially users of the app. Mandana, you know, today everyone wants shortcut. Everyone is looking for shortcuts. There is no shortcuts in life. Give the shortcuts for us. There is no shortcuts in life. You have shortcuts. Shortcuts, you know. But they didn't get a destiny. You can't even make a very. Means you can't even know shortcuts. 
මේට එන්න ටක් ගාලා 1 month 6 months 2 months 3 months වැඩි හරි හැබැයි ඒ එකක්වත් destiny එකේ නැහැ වෙන කොහෙට දෝ යන්නේ අර google maps වගේ වෙලාව මගට ගියාට පස්සේ map එක නැහැ ආ දැන් මොකද කරා so my dear students there aren't any shortcuts in life there are shortcuts but you will not go to the desired destiny right so let me before i wind up i just want to listen some comments ambition passion of the students who had joined this program i would like to know what is your passion why did you join this program why a singhala ki wara kamak nahe a මොකද මම ලංකාවේ මනුස්සයෙක්නේ මැලේසියාවේ වැඩ යුනිවර්සිටි එකේ පොයින්ට් කරා ලංකාවේ විශ්ව විද්‍යාලය ඉගෙන ගන්න. මම රටවල් තුනක ඉගෙන ගන්න තියෙනවා. වෙනම කතාවක්. නමුත් මගේ පළවෙනි උපාධිය අපි ලංකාවේ ඉගෙන ගන්න. ආ ෆ්ලෑෂල් අයි පික් සම්බඩි. අයි හැව් අයි ඩොන්ට් නෝ ද ස්ටුඩන්ට්ස් බට් අයි කැන් සී දෙයර් නේම්ස්. අයි කැන් සී ඉෆ් අයි පික් සම්වන් ෆ්‍රොම් මිඩල් එරංග Eranga, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. Okay, Eranga, uh, can you tell me from where are you? I am from Bingiri. Bingiri, excellent. Eranga, uh, Singhala comfortable, neither. Yes, sir. Oh, oh. Uh, that got Eranga science karan nila all world. Hey, mother. Oh, science kar. Science kar. මොකද්ද රංග දැන් පාස් වෙලා දෙන්නේ මං රිසල්ට් සහන් නැහැ පාස් ද ෆේල්ද කියලා විතරයි අහන්නේ පාස් වෙලා තියෙන්නේ ඔව් පාස් රිසල්ට් එක බී දෙකයි සී එකයි ඔල් රයිට් එක්සලන්ට් ඉට්ස් අ ගුඩ් රිසල්ට් මම මොකද ප්‍රතිඵල අහන්න කැමති නැත්තේ මේ පාස් නම් ඇති එතනින් එහාට අපි කතා කරන්න වැඩිය දඟලන්නේ නැහැ නමුත් එක්සලන්ට් වෙරි ගුඩ් රිසල්ට්ස් සෝ එරංග මට කියන්න එරංග මොකද්ද ඔයාගේ බලාපොරොත්තු by technology or biomedical the kara biomedical sir biomedical what is your expectation ela mukadda bala poru avurudu dekakin tunakin wage api degree ema iwara kara kiyanna ko tunakin mukadda bala poru thiyena research in path thama research karanda research karan lanka wida pitra eh koy hari ona koy hari kamanna loka research karanda yone yo eta kota eranga mata kiyanda ඔයා රිසර්ච් කියලා කියන්නේ මමත් බොහොම කැමති ඒරියා එකක් රිසර්ච් කියන්නේ අපි ඔක්කොම කැමති ලෝකෙම කැමති රිසර්ච් බයෝමෙඩිකල් කියන්නේ අද කාලෙට ඕනම කරන රිසර්ච් එකක් ලෝකෙ හැම තැනටම බයෝමෙඩිකල් රිසර්ච් මිනිස්සු ඕනේ එතකොට ඔයාගේ ආර්ථික පැත්තෙන් ඔයාට දැන් සමහර ළමයි ඉන්නවා ඇති ඒ රංග ඔයා නිකන් රිසර්ච් කරන්න ඕනේ කොහොම බැචුලර්ස් ඩිග්‍රි අරගෙන කවුරු හරි බලන්න ඇති මේකෙන් සල්ලි අම්බෙන්න එහෙම අදහසක් තියෙනවද ඒ රංගේ නිකන් ඔව් අනිවාර්යෙන් තියෙනවා කොහොම අදහස අද තියෙනවද बलापुर दाते यानु लाख लाख से डबड़ा लाख से कड़बड़ा पड़ी है बल्ला प्रोत्तु ये ना माह से कर ओए यानी एक्सपीरियंस है वही थी सामान एक्सपीरियंस है कताने ने वैरी इन्ने ओ मुलांग मुलादी है मने तो ये बसे लाख से आठ पद पड़ी है बल्ला प्रोत्तु ये इरांगे माँ महिमा योजना वक्त करो ओ इरांगे मामा किया ना में तो � ඇයි අපි ලංකා වගේ විතරක් බලන්න කැමති නැද්ද වෙන රටවල් ගැන බලන්න එහෙම නැත්නම් වෙන රටවල් වල වැඩ කරන්න එහෙම කැමති නැහැ කැමති කැමති ගොඩක් කැමති කැමති ගොඩක් කැමති රයිට් එතකොට මම එරංගට යෝජනා කරනවා සහ අනෙකුත් ළමයින්ට යෝජනා කරනවා ඕස්ට්‍රේලියා කැනඩා වල USA වල මොකද බයෝමෙඩිකල් කරපු අයට එහෙට වීසා ගන්න පුළුවන් වෙනවා යන්න දෙනවා 
अनित सब्जेक्ट्स कर पुआट ना टिका काम हार हुई साइंस इंजीनियरिंग आटे टिका क्लेसी ऐसा कोटा ऑस्ट्रेलिया न्यूजीलैंड तो हम योजना कर रहे हैं कि हिला बालान ता वेबसाइट्स वाला कुछ रा गेवन वादे रिसर्च एसिस्टेंट के लिए के रा मैडियो वो नहीं ना आप ही रिसर्च एसिस्टेंट के लिए के ना उनको पूरा का एक्सपीरियंस आता आगे नहीं दे क्या पोडी 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 एनालिसिस के लिए एनालिसिस के लिए के उनको नहीं दे पोडी एनालिसिस के लिए के नहीं कहा जस्ट एन एनालिसिस नहीं एनालिसिस पोडी पोडी ये कहा हाँ मामा माता निकाल मामा देख का एरांग देंग मास गाने का टकालिंग सर्वे का मामा निकाल करना कोटे माता निकाल हम बुना four thousand five thousand dollars वाकी निकाल three thousand four thousand dollars वाकी हम बुना माता average की � मामा हारी दे रहा है ये हमें का देख का तो है कोई बात देख के ना नहीं हमें का हाँ मामा योजना करना गीला बालान द गीला हाँ मानी क्या है उड़ा को ले ओ गीला बालान द वो को दे मैं अरे वो हाँ मुद्रों के लिए दिनों ने काउंट उसके ऊपर ही विश्वास करने दे पाएगी लानी है बुद्धा के मार्ग लॉर्ड बुद्धा के प्रिंसि� एक तो पढ़ी अंदर आ लेती है। ये तो कोटा मामा विश्वास करने वाला सामान्य लक्ष्य पाह का हाई के एवरेज सैलरी का में आए तो तीन। थैंक यू वेरांग। थैंक यू वेरी मच। थैंक यू सर। थैंक यू। एनीवन एल्स? आई कैन सी इफ आई पिक बाय नेम रोशानी। मिस रोशानी Faruk, can you hear me? Oh, Roshani is not there. Then I can see Fatima. Hello, sir. Oh, right. Sir? Yes, I want you to tell or explain what is in your mind after studying this degree program. What is I your want expectation? To <clears throat> yeah. um, I want to become a doctor. I am doing oh. my A level. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm doing my A levels. Uh, I am. In uh, this year. Okay. Um, my expectation is to be a doctor, medical doctor, right? Yes. Oh, do you know, Fatima, after completing biomedical degree, we have exemptions for medical degree. Do you know that? No. You didn't know, right? Well, I will tell the students, those who want to become doctors, we have a medical council approved university exemption for our biomedical students. Our biomedical students at Lincoln, those who complete degree can go to medical council approved university to do medical degree, medicine. They get two years exemption. They get two years of exemption for biomedical degree. I'm sure that some of you do not know this. But I must tell, if you complete your bachelor's degree in biomedical sciences, you get two years of exemption for SLMC approved degree in medicine. Thank you, Fatima. So I would not waste any more time because I was only given 10 or 15 minutes. So all in all,
all in all, I would like to open the ears and eyes of our students, look around for opportunities. This is a journey you have started. It will end in three years with bachelor's degree. If you are ending this journey in two years, it will be a higher national diploma qualification. But I insist all the students to go and learn and complete a first degree. HND is a government recognized, which will enable you to find some kind of employment and then part-time complete your degree. That is how we have structured this program. We will ensure the quality of the program. We will not compromise the quality of the program. So the quality of the program is ensured, guaranteed. Because the program has been supervised by Sri Lanka Foundation Institution and also by Lincoln University. And also knowing that you are in good hands. You have a great lecture panel. Dr. Tanuja is there. Uh, Mr. Nishi is there, Nishendran, Mr. Vinod. We have a very good panel. These are all people who are in the industry, not working for Sri Lanka. Though they are sitting in Sri Lanka, they are working for US companies. They are doing their own work. They have their own laboratories. These are all industrial experts. They are basically scientists. So you are learning from some, in some point, viewpoint, you are learning from scientists, people who are in research, really doing research. They are not academics. I like this blend. I like this aroma. I like this uh, composition. We have the academics. We have the industrial experts. We have people with research background. This is excellent. Mama hitanne lanka ve kisi ma aitane ka me vage panel leka me vage achary madalya mehevana program ka lanka ve ekama. Recognized program make a make kill among Abibadi in Kino Makadapi, Sialuma, Oya London, Ningalante, America, we gain a program, the happy decalatino, Eva Kernavidia tapi decalati, Kodapit Langavi Mama Namki and the Kamatine, eh? AI Apilanga Tenova never. Samahar Lama, degree, Iveraka Apilanga Tenova, industry could give a lab beka decalane. Instruments handle Kerlane, Harriet. Over the research career. Degree of biomedical, degree of biotechnology. Research mood ne. Articles published kala ne. Ki anda deyak ne. Karapu deyak ne. Eka hinda. Api ape la maita. Api teke gana gana la maita. Anivari. Complete program make a complete when the colleagues. Egulongwa. Training sala. Even at tongue. Job employment teka kala gana. All I have is that much. You are in good hands. And I would like to congratulate all of you and uh, add my well wishes to uh, complete this program with patience and dedication. Patience with Tony, dedication. Ibasi maton, Kapakiri matu. May decamati butena. Mama conclude Karanda Kalitavika. Jeeva ten Ogolonga Vaisa got you are you, you are just in twenty six. Imagine, thank God, with good God's grace, that you are living for sixty years. Our the Hatak Jeeva ten one other Kali thing of tech yonder. Some Kapitam Hatak. Let's say sixty years you are going to live sixty years. So one third of the life is gone. Another two third is there. So whatever that you do now, the two third will depend. Then, 
ඉතුරු තුනෙන් දෙක තීරණය කරන ඒ කියන්නේ බොහොම කල්පනාවෙන් කලබලයකින් තොරව ඊළඟ තුනෙන් දෙකට හොඳ ආයෝජනයක් කරගන්න you know this is hard time for all of us මේක අමාරු කාලයක් මේ වගේ කාලවල ඇවිල්ලා තියෙන ආ මගේ වාක්‍ය මම ඉවර කරන්න ග්‍රේට් ඒබ්‍රහම් ලින්කන් ඇමරිකාව හිටපු ජනාධිපති කෙනෙක් තාත්තා සපත්තු මහන කෙනෙක් ෂූ මේකර් if you have read his legacy ඒබ්‍රහම් ලින්කන් ගේ legacy එක කියවලා තිබ්බොත් සෙනෙට් එකට ඇමරිකාවේ සපත්තු මහන තාත්තා කෙනෙක්ගේ පුතේ පුතේ යන්න කිසිම අවස්ථාවක් නැහැ ඇමරිකා ලේසි නැහැ ඒක වෙන්න බැරි දෙයක් ඇත්ත නමුත් ගියා එතුමාගේ නමින් අද ලෝකේ විශ්ව විද්‍යාල ගොඩක් තියෙන කිසිම ජනාධිපති කෙනෙක් එහෙම එකක් නැහැ කොහෙවත් මොකද එතුමා දේශපාලකියකට වඩා එහා ගිය පුද්ගල චරිතය is beyond politician the stature icon abraham lincoln කියවල බලන්න අර මුල් ගුරුතුමාට ලියපු ලියුම නම් මම දැක අපේ ස්කෝල වල හැමතැනම වගේ ලංකාවේ ස්කෝල වලත් තියෙන අධ්‍යාපනය ගැන එවකට දැක්කොට ඒක විෂනරි පර්සන් විෂනරි පර්සන් අවුරුදු 100 200 ඉස්සරහට දැක්ක විදිහ ඒබ්‍රහම් ලින්කන් කියනවා මම හැම වෙලේම ඒ ටැග් එක පාවිච්චි කරන I will prepare I will prepare my time will come ඒබ්‍රහම් ලින්කන් කියන්නේ මොකද්ද ඒක මම සිංහලෙන් පරිවර්තනය කොත් මම ලෑස්ති වෙනවා මගේ වෙලාව වෙනකම් මම නිකන් ඉන්නේ මම ලෑස්ති වෙනවා so now it's time for you all to prepare then kale mukad apita eliyata gilla loku dewal karanna beha api den lasti wenawa mukoda da lasti wenna mage wela wenna ekata mama kiyapu de mataka tiya ganna patience don't rush kalabaleta wa karanna puluwanda ba karanna ba etakota wenne mokadda ara paya bageyen uyanda thiyena bath eka vinadiyen yuwa wage weda කණ්ඩ බැරි වෙනවා බත් එක. පේන්ඩ බත් එක දිනවා කණ්ඩ. So my dear friends, my dear students, I wish you all the best. We are here to help. අපි මෙහෙම වෙලේම ඉන්නවා. Mr. Uday ඉන්නවා. අ එයාගේ අපේ ඔෆිස් එක පුරු කොමලා ඉන්නවා Dr. Vijay Ratna, Dr. Tanusha, Nishi is there. Everyone is there to help you. So please feel free අපි මේ ඔක්කොම ඉන්න ඔයගොල්ලන්ට උදව් කරන්න ගයිඩ් කරන්න හරි දෙයට ගයිඩ් කරන්න පැරදි දෙයට අපි ගයිඩ් කරන්න කිසිසේත් හරි දෙයට හරි දේ හරි විදියට කරන්න කිසිසේත් අපි පසුබට වෙන්නේත් නැහැ වැරදි දේ ඩිසප්‍රූව් කරන්න පසුබට වෙන්නේත් නැහැ හැම වෙලාවෙම ට්‍රාන්ස්පෙරන්සි එක මේන්ටේන් කරන අතර සාධාරණ හේතුවද ඕනම සාධාරණ හේතුවක් අපි penny sit in the sudana so stay safe thank you from my side over to you vinushi thank you for all. sorry maduri sorry maduri i i okay. got it wrong huh? madhuri thank you mr roshan for that uh, inspiring speech Uh, next we have dr tanusha perera uh, she is the head of academics of the science faculty i'll uh, give you a small introduction about her uh, she has done her bachelor's in genetics and her masters in experimental biology and her phd in molecular biology and biochemistry and uh, she will uh, tell you a little bit about the curriculum that uh, you will be studying So over to you, Dr. Kanisha. Thank you, Madhuri. Uh, so, first of all, I would also like to welcome you all to uh, Sri Lanka Foundation and Father Lincoln University. Uh, so, first, let me give you a brief introduction about the curriculum of biomedical science and biotechnology. So, I will share this uh, presentation.
Right, so I hope you all can see this slide. Okay, so uh, here uh, today we are going to start two uh, streams, two uh, HND programs that is a uh, high national diploma in biomedical science and high national diploma in biotechnology, right? So in these two programs, we, uh, we have four semesters. So the duration for these two programs is two years. So two years, we have four semesters. Right, so that means two semesters per year, right? So in the first semester, you'll be covering uh, biomedical students. They will cover human anatomy and physiology, uh, part one, and then cell biochemistry and genetics, and then psychology and behavioral science, laboratory science and instrumentation, biostatistics and English. So in biotechnology, uh, you have cell biology, introduction to computer, and then organic uh, mechanisms in biology and instrumentation, biostatistics, and English, right? So if, if, if I pick few subjects from this uh, program, right? So as an example, if you take human anatomy and physiology, there you will study main um, the first part, you will study about the cells, type of cells, and then tissues, their organization, right? And then few uh, systems, right? Like uh, skeletal system, then a muscle system, like that. You will study different systems, right? And then uh, like cell bi biochemistry and genetics, you will study about different uh, macromolecules and also some inheritance patterns, uh, genetic patterns. Uh, etc. Right, and then if you take instrumentation, so there you will get the basic idea of uh, about different instruments, their principle, how they work, and how we can use. Right, so this is very much important when you are when you are doing your research. Right, so as Mr. Bashan explained, so if we don't know the principle behind each instrument and how to use it, right, so if we uh, don't have hands on experience. So it's very difficult when you start your research uh, career as a research or any other work, right? So therefore, we have very established laboratories. So we can, uh, you can get the hands-on experience. You can um, use them, uh, like we will guide you how to use it, how to do the, uh, how to have the steps that are, that is required for the, uh, uh, that requires for the, uh, research and the use of these instruments. So we will give all the basic idea about each and every instrument in the laboratory. And you have biostatistics. So they are, uh, you are mainly uh, learn about the, uh, how to evaluate your results, how you will uh, present uh, your results uh, by using different uh, statistical methods. Right, so because once you like after doing your research, once you get the results, so you need to analyze it. Right, so if if your if your plan is to publish different research papers or articles, so definitely you need to write. Uh, you have a research uh, section in your research articles. So in that, you need to prove that your results are statistically significant or not. Like that, there you need to. Add use different statistical methods. So all these basic techniques you will learn under this biostatistics. And also English is very important because it, uh, we need to communicate with different countries, different uh, people. And so English will help us to communicate. So even though we have the knowledge, we should be able to uh, share that with us, right? So English, learning English will help you to uh, guide you to share your knowledge with other people, right? Not within Sri Lanka, like if you go for foreign uh, countries, like if you meet foreign uh, scientists, people, right? So you should be able to share your ideas with them. So this part will help you to communicate and also you will improve your English knowledge after this uh, session, right? So then under semester two, uh, again, biomedical students, they have anatomy and physiology part two. So here also you'll uh, talk about different 
organ systems, and then you have human biochemistry. So then uh, bi molecular biology techniques, human genetics, basic microbiology, and then leader, uh, leadership skills and human relations. And also in biotechnology, you have chemistry, biochemistry, uh, then molecular biology, genetics, basic microbiology, and biophysics. Right. So if we take molecular biology and molecular biology techniques, so nowadays we have a very famous word that is PCR. Right. So just three letters, but uh, it is now uh, very much important, right? Especially in this pandemic uh, uh, this timing. So this PCR is polymerase chain reaction. So that. Uh, like that is just one technique we are using by technology. So uh, not only that, you will learn many other different biomedical bio, uh, bio molecular biology techniques under this molecular biology uh, subject, right? So like uh, how to extract DNA and then how to run gene electrophoresis, right? And then how to run PCR. So all these you will learn under molecular biology. Right, so uh, practically, uh, we, 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 we are using these techniques in the laboratory. And then genetics. So genetics is that we will study how, the, uh, how our genes trans, uh, transfer from one generation to another, how we will get genes from our parents, and how our genes will transfer to our next generation or to our offspring. Right. So then about microbiology. So here uh, you, you will uh, study uh, mainly about different uh, microorganisms, not only bacteria. You will also study fungi and viruses. Right. So viruses again, it's now very common general name. Like uh, so, we will study in detail about these things, and then also uh, leadership skills and human. The right? And then uh, in the semester three, uh, again, we have immunology, basic immunology subject that is about biomedical science and biotechnology, and then uh, basic health informatics for biomedical science and for biotechnology, we have bioinformatics, right? And then uh, for biomedical science, basic immunology, health and community, and basic biology. And again, biotechnology, recombinant DNA technology, toxicology, basic cytology for these subjects, right? So then immunology, uh, if I brief that, like we will study about, the, we have different immune systems, which is the immune system. So we will talk about those immune systems, antigens, antibodies, right? So all these in detail, you will get a very clear idea about it. It's, it's, uh, that syllabus is very structured and uh, very uh, easy to learn everything, right? And then if we take recombinant DNA technology, so this is also very much uh, new to Sri Lanka, but not to other countries, right? Because as this is uh, now uh, we people, scientists, they are using this technology uh, to uh, produce different medicines and different uh, uh, in all the sectors, agriculture, medical field, and then industrial field, uh, and many other fields, right? So as an example, if you take the, the best example is the insulin, right? So if you know insulin was earlier uh, produced by uh, the extracting insulin from pig, right? So generally insulin, there are 51 amino acids. So if we compare pig insulin with human insulin, uh, the pig insulin differ from uh, human insulin only from one on a single amino acid. But still, people they got in different uh, immune reactions against this pig insulin. So then, scientists they start to produce recombinant DNA. They start to produce recombinant insulin by using this recombinant DNA technology. Right. So that is they will extract uh, genes from. Uh, insulin genes and they will insert that into vectors and then vectors they will introduce into process and then they finally they will take this product and then pack into bodies and distribute right so this is very common so there's no any uh, reactions against this 
right so and this is just an example so like that uh, we can use this recombinant dna technology for agriculture fields to produce uh, uh, this, uh, pesticide resistant uh, crops and then many other like using third golden rice right so those are examples for this recombinant dna technology and also if we take uh, bioinformatics so there are uh, this is uh, generally this is uh, studying uh, that is com uh, mainly they are handling uh, this is computational uh, biology that is uh, like if you just think if you want to know the gene sequence of uh, uh, we'll say gene sequence of humans right so what you can do is there are certain uh, websites certain uh, uh, website so there are, you can search the uh, like uh, DNA sequence of humans like that if you search right so you will get the entire sequence of the humans so not only humans like if you say we want to see the sequence of um, an elephant right so if you type it you will get it right so if you want to see the sequence of a uh, uh, dog right so if you type that the DNA sequence of dog then you the entire sequence right so because we don't want to do all these they are scientists they have done this and they have published so they are by using different uh different uh this bioinformatic tools we can uh identify them and then we can use them to our research and to our daily uh, field work right and then again you have this basic cytology so there are various studies in detail about the cell, right? And then in the semester four, uh, biomedical science students, they have advanced immunology, basic pathology, and then advanced microbiology, and then personal and professional development and experimentation, right? So this epidemiology is very important. So that means this is the study uh, of the uh, causes and then distribution and the control of specific diseases right so now uh, you will heard in uh, news like a different uh, uh, different uh, statistics about this uh, uh, covid 19 right so they will say this uh, district they have this much patients they have done this much um, uh, another district they have uh, this much uh, contacted people, uh, patients so all these information we gathered by using this uh, epidemiology uh, information right so here you will study how to collect those data how to analyze them so everything included into that uh, model right and then in biotechnology uh, again you have biosafety bioregulation bioethics in biotech so this is very much important again because uh, we should know we should aware about all this before we enter into research field right and then plant cell and tissue culture techniques and then plant and animal breeding biodiversity and taxonomy and then also we have internship or industrial training right so this is the end of your second year that is after completion semester four you are uh, done with your HMB program right so after that if you are planning to do your uh, complete your degree program so then uh, you can uh, do your top-up degree and then you can complete your uh, full that is BSc in biomedical science or BSc in biotechnology degree right so then uh, during this uh, uh, two years, you have different assessment methods, right? So you have uh, each unit will be uh, assessed by different uh, methods. That is, we have uh, regular practicals, right? So we are not basically, we are not doing only theory. We are also uh, doing practical sessions, right? So we will give you hands-on experience. And so you, you will learn how to use different instruments, different techniques, and everything, right? And then also uh, you have practical examinations, right? So, and then assignments, and then formative assessments, and also you have a final exam.
right? So, uh, so a unit can be assessed by more than one method, but mainly combination of all these. So some uh, modules, they will have more practicals, some they have uh, very less practicals, some they will not have practicals, but uh, by, by we can use any of these methods to assess your uh, assess your uh, teaching and the uh, knowledge about each module, right? And then, uh, so that's about the program uh, of biomedical science and biotechnology. So we are planning to start on 4th of September 2021. So I hope you're aware about that. And so now my question is, are you ready to start your Journey. Yes, are you ready? Yes, I can't hear. Are you ready? Yes, not yet. I think, Doctor, they have. Uh keying the words, they are, they, are, they are just text on your box. Ah, okay, right. Okay, let me <laughs> check. Oh, I can see many. Yes. Okay, so I hope actually this is a very interesting field because uh, now, uh, like, after this pandemic, like, you know, uh, we people like once it starts then people were searching okay is there any medicine is there any vaccine right so who will invent this vaccine right so definitely the credit goes to biomedical scientists and biotechnology right so don't think that you don't have any uh, uh, job opportunity so in future actually now also and also in future you will get many job opportunities for this uh, two streams, especially biomedical science and biotechnology. So definitely, uh, this will be a very interesting field. And then if you are entering into your research, uh, career as a research, starting your career as a research. So I think this uh, program, especially these modules, will give you like 100% knowledge about all the uh, information that is required for the research and also industrial, medical, all the fields, right? So because this program will touch all the areas that are required for the research and uh, to for your higher studies as well, because some uh, modules we are talking in detail, advanced level, uh, basically we have basic level and advanced level, right? So we will go some in the uh, to uh, explain you about different uh, uh, different sections. So definitely you, this uh, program will help you uh, to end up uh, to have a proper uh, job as well as also you get the self-satisfaction by learning this, all these information, right? So thank you very much. Hope to see you all on Fourth of September, twenty twenty one. Right. So, thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Tanusha. Uh, next, we have a small uh, speech given by Mr. Nishi. Uh, he is a senior lecturer, and he is also a research and development expert. And also, he's an industrial expert. So uh, he will talk to you a little bit uh, in the next speech. Thank you. Yeah, uh, thank you. Uh, can I have a permission to share my screen, please? Join co host. You can share screen. Yeah, yeah, thank you.
Okay, so hope everyone can uh, see the screens. Yeah. Yes. Okay, uh, so I have been uh, invited uh, by uh, uh, SFI uh, for to present a. Uh, uh, career presentations on uh, biotechnology, biomedical sciences, and uh, uh, especially uh, life sciences. Okay, uh, so before I start, uh, we need to honor someone um, before we do everything. So, uh, so unsung heroes uh, behind the current uh, pandemic situations. So let me explain uh, how uh, these situations are uh, handled. Right. Okay. Uh, so, starting with the first slide. So I am going to uh, present a career opportunities uh, presentation uh, on biomedical science and biotechnology. Okay. So uh, before when we say life sciences, uh, it uh, comprises of uh, many things. I mean, uh, not uh, medical, not uh, pharma or food industries, uh, environmental or marine sciences or industrial or food technology and bioinformatics and uh, many more uh, biomedical drug discoveries and uh, chemi informatics and uh, much more than that right so which is uh, uh, which is one of the very uh, important feature uh, for a life science students right uh, where they can uh, apply for uh, many more job opportunities and they can apply for many more job opportunities than uh, any other industries right uh, even uh, when you take a uh, software uh, yeah, when you take a software expert, software developer, the, he can apply for a software developer, like a, like a doctor or a lawyer. But unlike them, uh, life science undergraduates, right, they have a lot of scopes. Okay. Uh, so before we start, uh, we'll uh, uh, just uh, discuss about, uh, like, uh, we are facing a current uh, pandemic situation. And are we dealing with the biggest uh, pandemic, uh, which means Right. Uh, so if you take the statistics of uh, today, uh, we might be um, facing around uh, 4.5 million uh, death due to COVID-19. Right. But uh, is it uh, so scary? Right. Uh, but absolutely. Right. Compared to the previous uh, pandemics. Right. Uh, so whether there are bubonic plague, uh, which is 200 million uh, black death, I mean uh, death and uh, Black death or smallpox or Spanish flu or take of uh, uh, in uh, early 541 or uh, HIV AIDS or third plague, uh, which we had uh, 200 years ago, I mean, less than 200 years ago, right? Uh, so compared to this, uh, the COVID-19, right, uh, what we are talking about uh, is around 4.5 million and still on. Okay, so in between uh seventh or eighth right at the moment right so why uh, this is uh, so scary because uh, unlike uh, any other pandemic uh, currently i mean uh, in uh, nowadays uh, the traveling is so easy so everyone can spread uh, things easily right but compared to uh, ebola and all uh, death rate is really low but still we are facing the problem and how these, uh, how we are overcoming this uh, pandemic, current uh, pandemic situations, right? So, uh, so let me tell uh, you a very little story, right? Uh, so earlier, right, uh, in 2019, December or January last year, uh, we don't know what uh, causing the disease. So immediately there was a, a viral uh, pandemic. I mean, not even pandemic. Uh, who they have, uh, doesn't have uh, recognized this as a pandemic? So earlier we know that uh, it's a Wuhan virus. Then uh, we had a very um, life science, uh, life scientist. Uh, they had uh, extracted the DNA, uh, sorry, mRNA, then uh, uh, prepared a, a cDNA and made a sequencing, right? And then uh, during that time, it was uh, named as NCOV, uh, novel coronavirus 19, right? So. Uh, Wuhan virus have been changed to novel coronavirus because of uh, uh, scientific, I mean, ethically, we don't say any uh, state or uh, country's name or uh, any uh, attachments uh, towards a viral name. Uh, so they have said uh, novel coronavirus. Then immediately what the uh, 
uh, heroes of uh, we i mean thansan heroes which we are talking about they have uh, extracted the extracted the mrna uh, of the viral and then isolated uh, prepared the uh, complementary dna and after the sequencing they have found out okay this is uh, novel coronavirus is very similar to uh, previous uh, mers virus okay uh, mers and previous uh, sars2 which uh, we had i mean that's a very close uh, relationship between um, 2019 we had mers but before so we had mers and sars uh, uh, if you remember i mean i think you must have been uh, small kids uh, in 2002 2003 uh, so sars so it's a current uh, viral uh, virus uh, we are talking about is a very close relative of mers and sars2 so identification of this uh, genetic information so immediately the sequencing has been done right uh, one of the uh, fastest uh, organism except uh, human um, have been sequenced so much uh, compared to any other organisms in this world except human so far uh, sars coronavirus 2 so based on the sequences uh, they have find out a lot of information spike protein membrane protein e protein so there is a code there is a genetic material and each and every uh, aspect of this so how come this is possible because there are a lot of uh, life scientists so if you see this page uh, each of this particular protein or uh, compartment is coming from a different type of uh, scientist right uh, not a single i mean a single scope of scientist so there are bioinformatics uh, specialist bioinformatics analysis uh, or the dna extracting experts molecular biologist and uh, the prediction is some I mean, molecular biology uh, in silico designers who design the uh, uh, each sequences are causing uh, this particular replicase helicase uh, interalveolar or spike protein and every single thing have been sequenced and by the uh, mid or late uh, february uh, everything is available uh, for molecular biologist uh, so in uh, wet lab molecular biologist to uh produce the sequences uh, sequences and produce the vaccine so what the discovery have uh, taught us right so it's a combination of a lot of life scientist effort uh, that has uh, given right a particular uh, attachment process so which was like how the coronavirus spike protein so which was the red color uh, spike protein is uh, the spike protein and so we know that uh, this particular genome is designed by spike protein and so we know the exact sequence i mean sequence of this spike protein and as2 receptor is in human so uh, that as2 receptor is available in uh, many parts of uh, our tissues uh, including not uh, not only lungs uh, either kidneys to respiratory tract to duodenum to uh, several attachments so there are uh, this matching right so this is the first attachment for a viral to uh, infect uh, human tissue Uh, was discovered right and uh, the sequence and the variants we talk about is the differences of this spike protein right so when when we talk about alpha or beta or epsilon or any delta variants so the design of this spike protein changes right they don't drastically change like hiv or aids but there are mild changes and that changes uh, change that changes modify the our attachment of the as2 receptors of the human so because of the different styles or different uh, 3d structure different population of humans are uh, uh, infected i mean they are hi- highly risk so this attachment have been discovered early last year 2020 and immediately after the discovery of the sequence right now the scientists have found out okay this is the mechanism so they wanted to cut down this attachment this binding okay so immediately the vaccine productions uh, by different conventional vaccines right or mrna vaccines or uh, attenuated vaccines or uh, the, the live uh, why uh, vaccines i mean there are uh, uh, killed vaccines so there are different types of vaccines so each of the vaccines what they do is they the dead dead cells or some of the mrna particles they mimic this uh, spike protein or different parts of this protein right so when we say membrane protein or e protein so they mimic this and they intervene the binding 
right? So it's a usual ACE2 receptor at virus binding was because due to the vaccine's development, development of the antibodies, they mimic and they attach, so the binding won't happen. And because of this, we get uh, the risk of the COVID-19 um, uh, disease, I mean, COVID-19 risk is uh, reduced so much, right? So behind all of this uh, development, right, there are a lot of, I mean, there are huge amount of Job opportunities, right? Not only uh, on a single viral, right? So we have to deal with this kind of uh, uh, virus in futures, and there are bacteria, there are fungi, there are much more, right? And we are going to face any antibiotic resistance also in future. So there will be, uh, there's a good thing and bad thing also, right? So we have to face the future. So then uh, because of that, we have to be ready also. Okay, so coming back to uh, my uh, exact uh, presentation, right? So what is uh, biomedical science, right? So when we talk about there are biomedical science students and biotechnology students. So in uh, biomedical science, uh, particularly, right? So it's an application of range of disciplines in the life sciences and natural sciences to understand the human diseases to diagnostic uh, diagnosis, prevention, treatment, and human disease, prevention of human disease, right? So there are a lot of, lot of opportunities in diagnostic. There are a lot of opportunities in prevention and the treatment also, right? So in biomedical science, uh, these are the very examples. I mean, there are much more, uh, I mean, including, but not limited to pharmacology or genetics or biochemistry or microbiology, human biology or pathology or immunology or clinical applied chemistry or clinical chemistry or uh, cell biology. So all of these subjects, I mean, there are many other subjects also. So you'll be studying all of these subjects, right? And you will be facing up uh, uh, different type of applications, right? Vaccine development is one, right? But when you talk about uh, uh, medicines, right, drug, drug development, Right, it has a, a discovery pathway. Right, so for example, you need to make a discovery, <coughs> so that needs an idea. Uh, so you have to study a lot. Right, you can't just study uh, pharmacology or only genetics or only biochemistry or only microbiology or only cell biology to become a scientist. You have to study everything in the early stages, first two years or three years, and then later on you have to specialize. So then only you will be knowing by studying microbiology, you know about uh, fungi, bacteria. Uh, viral and everything. So then only you will study. I mean, you, you even have to study sometimes the uh, plant and uh, other organisms as well, right? Why? Because most of the 99 uh, percentage of the current medicines are derived from plant-based, right? I mean, the live based plant or uh, fungi or bacteria, right? So because of that, you need to, I mean, drug discovery, right? You need to make a discovery and then validating a discovery. And there are a lot of uh, st steps involved, searching for components, so it needs a lot of trials and error, developing kits to leads, so, and then uh, stepping towards clinic and the chemical clinical trial, right? So these are very uh, important stages, right? So it, uh, even if you take about, it's uh, infectious diseases like uh, COVID, or there are non-infectious diseases also, right? Like Alzheimer's, it's, it's not infectious, but it's genetic. So you need to find some causes of that as well, right? And in this case of, uh, I mean, after you make an idea and make a made a valid lead, right? So the drug development process is not a simple one, right? So you need to drug development have to be targeted. There should be a lead development in medicinal chemistry and in vitro studies. And after that, the in vivo studies on animal, I mean, so it's animal studies. So after completion of everything, right? It needs a lot of time, right? After completion of everything, then the data on data analytics of all will lead to clinical trial approval. Then only you can test it on humans. That's also on a trial basis. So testing on a human is also, again, a large process, right? So exploratory and clinical, it takes two years or three years. Usually this takes two, three years. After three years, and again, you need a phase one clinical trial with a very small population, again, a phase two trial with a small population and then phase three clinical trial with another large population. So once the approval is given, then only your medicine can be manufactured and marketed, right? So in this, during this tunnel, right? From here to here to here, right? So in this tunnel, right? There are different types of 
job opportunities for life scientists, right? It can be laboratory, inside the laboratory or outside the laboratory, right? It can be data analytics, computational, wet lab, or the exploratory, right? For example, you might, in the early stage, you might have to find samples and find the lead. Then once the lead is there, the clinical trial with uh, human tissues, phase two clinical trial with human tissues, phase three uh, uh, trial with humans. So all of these, right, in us or maybe animal studies, right, all of these needs a lot of sample collection, analytics, wet lab, and post-production, and even manufacturing and post-marketing surveillance is also very important, right? You can't just uh, like a, a plastic uh, chair or if you're manufacturing and a basic thing, right? You can't just quality control and transportation, uh, do a transport and uh, get the medicine. So your post-manufacturing post post, uh, and post-marketing surveillance is also very important, right? Even a, a biotechnology or health science expert need to be consulted before even uh, even uh, the sales also have to be done by a uh, biotechnology or biomedical science undergraduate even to doctors so then only the doctors can be explained so it's a uh, every single uh, medicine or drug right it's a history of uh, 10 to 15 years right usually it takes but uh, currently i mean currently in silico analysis and many other uh, advancements of science are reducing this right, uh, to one to three, five years, right? But during uh, on an emergency situation, even within one year, scientists, right? So even 2019 uh, November to 2021 uh, January, right? They made the vaccines, right? Even at a phase one, phase two clinical stages, right? But it, even it was a, a very long procedure, right? It's around six years to nine years of work, scientists have done it, okay? So currently. So uh, when we talk about the life science, career opportunities, right? Uh, so the biomedical undergraduate, right? So they can get uh, employment in the basics, uh, in the basics to advance the hospital veterinary laboratories or uh, health protection agencies or monitoring of uh, communicable uh, diseases or epidemiology unit or health campaign, uh, like pharma pharmaceutical industries like drug vaccine or diagnostic kits, which we have uh, just checked. Uh, then uh, other, research union, I mean, research institutes or medical researchers or hospitals or industries. Uh, so those who, uh, for example, this kind of an idea, right, uh, the lead generation uh, production. So you can get employed as a research uh, intern in uh, lead production as well. Okay, so there are opportunities for, uh, these are the opportunities for um, biomedical uh, or life science uh, students, right? These are not limited to this, but there are many other opportunities also. Okay. So then uh, coming back to biotechnology. So what does a biotechnologist do? Uh, so apart from um, biomedical science, I mean, biotechnology is a huge umbrella, including uh, drug discovery, human research, and uh, biomedical science itself, a part of uh, biotechnology or life science, right? But apart from uh, pharmaceutical or medical industry, there are biotechnology students, they study other uh, program, which is, uh, food science, environmental uh, remediation, or renewable energy or water treatment or uh, uh, medical or um, food science, agricultural and industrial uh, sectors, right? So let's see what are the opportunities and industrial scopes. So when you, when you take about uh, biotechnology, so major, I mean, these are main three, but uh, there are uh, other sectors as well, right? For example, agri-biotechnology, we include food biotechnology, right? Food science and technology also including agriculture. Industrial biotechnology, when we talk about industrial biotechnology, we take uh, bioremediation and uh, marine and environmental biotechnology also industry, right? Industry in between uh, agri and uh, industrial. In healthcare, it's biomedical science. It's, uh, it's all same biomedical science. So biotechnology students, they have more opportunities like this. Right. So when we talk about the relationship between uh, biotechnology or life science between the biomedical science, uh, biotechnology itself, it's a health and medicine, we call it a biomedical science, right? So in, when we talk about biotechnology and biomedical science, biomedical science is a part of uh, life science as a scope, right? So it's a technology plus biology, and uh, they have an opportunity in agriculture, nutrition, uh, industrial, environment, uh, ID or 
marine or bioinformatics, which is computational biotechnology and ethics and law on developments of policies and including bioweapons, we don't encourage. Uh, so it's a bioweapon, anti-bioweapon uh, related things. I mean, we don't encourage, I mean, we shouldn't uh, encourage any bioweapons as an ethical uh, practice, but uh, we should be prepared for bioweapons for uh, savings uh, for uh, mankind. Okay. Uh, so again, uh, examples of uh, biotechnology, each, uh, so bioremediation. So examples of this is the bacteria, oil eating bacteria. So they, we can utilize bacteria for um, oil spills or any industrial waste or bioinformatics on several analysis, uh, diagnostic, disease diagnostics, uh, industrial mapping, uh, evolutionary mapping or chemical designs and uh, agricultural biotechnology in plant productions. So there are uh, agrobacterium uh, tumor patients. So we know the examples of this. So uh, uh, genetically modified uh, organism agriculture. So the, the, the growth yield will be increased. So these are approved one. Uh, so approved uh, as a fertilizer in the biofertilizers. And uh, yeah, this is also a similar uh, uh, bioremediation process. So in um, more or less biotechnology and biomedical science, so they have the same scopes. So when we talk about this, um, both of these life sciences, right, a pathway linked to career, right? So uh, there are two types of uh, careers. One is uh, laboratory and uh, wet lab research. So immediately after the undergraduate, you can be a laboratory technician and uh, throughout your journey, right, uh, with your bachelor's uh, or biotech, uh, master's, PhD, or with your um, business administration, MBA, master's of business administration, you get different positions. Uh, I mean, uh, so we call it a career ladder. Uh, so you learn of a laboratory technician can become a project manager, lab manager, or a research scientist or a university lecturer faculty or a senior professor, professor, or uh, much more, right? Uh, so these are one of the academic and uh, institution, I mean, uh, research related job opportunities. So if we talk about, I mean, each of these uh, research scientist or university professor or lab manager, right? You can link to every industry of this. For example, agricultural research center, Yes, they have a separate laboratory technician, project manager, agricultural project manager, laboratory manager, research scientist, agricultural professors, I mean, subject related professors. Same like uh, biomedical uh, or bioinformatics or marine, right? They have marine uh, project manager or research scientist on marine or research scientist on food technology or research scientist on biomedical or bio research scientist on drug discoveries and likewise for uh, university professors as well. So these are academic and um, uh, research uh, job opportunities. Uh, are we talking about, I mean, is this the same, uh, is this the only research opportunity for uh, life scientists, right? Is there a careers outside uh, laboratory for life sciences, for biomedical science and biotechnology, right? So when we talk about that, yes, true, there are, industrial uh, job opportunities, there are business opportunity, uh, education opportunity, and uh, communication. So in all of these uh, sectors, right? So we have a uh, norm. I mean, uh, the usual practice in Sri Lanka is uh, we want uh, 13 years of free education. And then again, uh, we wait for government to give uh, uh, undergraduate education. And then we wait for government to give the uh, job opportunities, and then we uh, expect uh, pandemic during pandemic situation. We expect five thousand again, five thousand or two thousand, and uh, uh, right everywhere, right. Uh, so everywhere we depend on um, people, right? Why? Because the industries, right? We don't think of uh, creating job opportunities, right? We always think of think of working on something, right? So one example is even uh, the current uh, the vaccine, Pfizer vaccine for. Corona, uh, COVID-19, uh, is a very small startup, right, BioNTech in uh, Germany, right, Pfizer, after the vaccine has been developed, right, Pfizer bought the vaccine, but, but the development was a very a small startup in uh, Germany, BioNTech, right, so if you Google it, you might uh, learn, right, so what are the career outside the laboratory, right, industries, so there are every single industries, what we discussed above, uh, agriculture, 
pharmacology or medicine, uh, food technology or everything, right? They need uh, reagents, equipment, chemicals, uh, and all of these has to be say, sold and marketed, right? Even when you talk about vaccine, there are four types of vaccine, right? Medicine means Panadol means there are different types of Panadol, right? Uh, any, any type, any uh, medicine you call it, there are uh, sales and marketing technical support, product registration, clinical trials and administration, management. So these are industry uh, marketing and management goals. Why uh, biotechnology undergraduate have to be sub, uh, recruited by sales and marketing? Because once you learn this, right, for example, when we talk about this as an undergraduate, uh, sorry, yeah. So when I talk about, okay, this is these are plasmids and uh, as a, biology, I mean, those who have studied biology. So when I talk about DNA, mRNA, uh, plasmids, and these are the sequences, and these are the spike protein, the undergraduate, they study. I mean, they, we don't have to teach them uh, everything, right? But imagine uh, we take a sales executive for uh, sales and marketing executive uh, on a business stream industry, right? Or business or uh, arts or any other engineering persons so to sell this. It's very hard to teach them, train them. So most of these uh, pharma industries, right, whether they produce vaccines or medicines or reagents or enzymes or even equipment, they prefer undergraduate, life science undergraduate to as a marketing sales uh, team or even the technical support team, leads of technical support team. Or they, they can talk to the doctors, they can talk to the research scientists on their language and they explain each and everything and they can make the deal. Right, than taking a fresh MBA or business on the uh, undergraduate. So it's a out, I mean, a different type of opportunity. And uh, business, right, or for example, uh, financial sector, or patent, or creating a new patent, or law, or technology transfer, like uh, BioNTech, they develop a vaccine technology and they sell uh, part of their uh, patent. To Pfizer, part of the patent to some in some some in Japan, part of the patent to Germany, right? So each of them they can sell it, so they get the idea, sell the idea, and earn money, right? Uh, so then uh, science business development. So these are science uh, outside. I mean the uh, careers outside the laboratory, and some people are good in uh, talking, some people are good in analysis analysis, some people are good in laboratory work. So it depends on each person's uh, capacity. They have to choose their job opportunities because if I'm not good at talking, right, there's no point of me picking up a marketing or sales, right? Or if I'm not good at uh, wet labs, right? Don't waste time there. If you can talk, you get the opportunity on the product, uh, uh, product lead. Or uh, if you are good at uh, low plus uh, biotechnology or life science, you can uh, go for a policy making or policy decision making, right? So likewise, then uh, there are undergraduate, after undergraduate teaching, undergraduate uh, school teaching as well. So there are school teachers, lecturers, science centers, and museums also in education related, right? Whether it can be marine, food, industry, environment, and much more, right? And apart from this, there are communications on uh, science journalism, uh, medical writing, scientific editing, uh, specialist library and so all of this, right? So one example is if you don't have a science uh, journalism, right? If you don't have any scientist or uh, life scientist who, I mean, if you don't have a science scientist, paper, newspapers, they write articles on only the bad side of medicines, drugs. So everywhere we think about, okay, we make uh, two years or three years of uh, industry expertise and pr produce a new vaccines on COVID fighting, but some uh, non-science background journalists, they write, okay, what is the bad side of vaccines and why we shouldn't uh, do this, right? So this is the issue, right? So they need, I mean, even newspapers or online journals, they need uh, those who can write uh, in human readable, I mean, not uh, scientific uh, writing, but just the journals, I mean, uh, the usual news writing uh, for science uh, journalism. So then they can uh, take the news and they can take the news to marketing and uh, they can spread the news and they can make the awareness proper, right? And apart from that, there are medical and technical writing for the researchers, uh, writing for patents, policies, scientific editing and publishing, and a lot more opportunities like that, right? So these are other opportunities 
apart from the uh, laboratory wet labs and science. So I think uh, that ends my presentation. Thank you so much for the opportunities. That's right. Thank you very much, Nishi, for that presentation. Uh, so that brings us to the end of today's program. Once again, I would like to thank all our speakers, Dr. Vijay Ratna, Mr. Roshan, and Dr. Kanusha, as well as uh, Mr. Nishi. So uh, I hope uh, everyone understood uh, about the program that they have selected. And uh, I wish everybody good luck and hope to see you all soon. Thank you very much.